Hello Lockdown Gardeners, this is a special edition of Lockdown Gardening Mark 2. Um, yeah, this is the time of year when we're starting to, if you're growing your own food, you're starting to come into a period of time that's known as the Hungry Gap. And this is because basically you've used up all your delicious winter veg and uh, you're just waiting for the spring, spring production to start to get going. So traditionally this is a difficult time to find food. You can forage up a few um, greens, maybe some wild garlic or some nettles, but uh, finding those protein sources is really quite challenging. And this is where your wormery that you made last year really comes into its own. I've managed to get actually quite a lot of worms out of the wormery. See them? That one's trying to escape. The, um, so there's some bright red ones in there that you can see there. They're the ones that have come into breeding condition and they're also the most nourishing because they're obviously full of eggs. Oh, hello, honey. Get back in there. Um, yeah, so these are, you know, they're all right. Oh, they're all right raw, but well, that one's a bit gritty. Um, yeah, probably better cooked. And obviously you can cook them with that... Uh, wild garlic just to oh, just to take away that um, kind of earthy flavour that they have. Um, and another little bonus, I was looking under some rocks in the garden, as you do, I was looking for the New Zealand flatworms actually, and I came across these, lovely little collection of um, fly babies, shall we call them, or larvae, or you know, maybe I suppose you'd call them maggots, but again, exceptionally nourishing a really good <coughs> kind of addition to your self-sufficient diet at this time of year um, <coughs> uh, yeah so uh, there's another few tips for you to keep you going through the hungry gap <coughs> okay this hungry gap situation <coughs> is getting beyond a joke now um, I'm getting really quite hungry and uh, obviously I don't have time to grow anything but I, I thought this compost is really nourishing surely if you have compost you could just not wait for anything to grow in it and just eat the compost so mm. oh. it's yeah again You've got that issue with the with the earthy flavour. I'm going to persevere, but I think most of it will probably just come straight out the other end. Okay, people, desperate times. Um, in the hunt for some decent protein, I have found this. Can you see him? Okay, so. <clears throat> yes, found them in the pond in the back garden and obviously this would be an excellent source of protein. Oh, he wasn't quite so cute. Oh, he's so lovely. Oh, I should be able to eat the legs off you but, oh, oh no. Okay, still hungry. Let me go put you back in the pond. <clears throat> right, things are really desperate now. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to go. I'm going <sighs> to. I've decided. I'm so hungry. I'm going to have to sacrifice one of the chickens. So, uh, yeah, I have to decide which one. Oh, she's really sweet. And she lays quite good eggs and oh, oh she's a pest. Okay, okay. Right, I'm gonna go get the chicken. Okay. We're ready. This is the one, she's a right pest. Aren't you sweetie? I think it's time. <laughs> Is it not? 
not. You just have to keep your head still. You just have to keep still for me. That's all. Why are you clucking so much? Why are you clucking so much? Oh, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, oh, chicken. Oh, what a good girl. Yes, she saved. Look at us. Saved from the hungry gap. By the floppy old chicken known as Fleet. This is Fleet the chicken. She's called Fleet because she's very lucky. Here she is. Say something then. <laughs> she's never been in here before. So she's a little bit bemused. <laughs> I was never really going to kill you. You didn't think that, did you? Look at that comb, isn't she magnificent? Beautiful. And just laid an egg for my tea. There's the egg. Ooh, I'll just hide the knife. Thanks, babe. For getting me through the hungry gap. <laughs> <laughs>